I'm going to show you how to free build in Lego Fortnite and I'm also going to give you some great tips and tricks for building. But let's find a nice spot to build. I think this will do. So you see here, normal foundation parts, they don't go into the ground and there's no way to actually move the item up and down, at least to my knowledge. So you will have floating foundations which just look awful. So you get a build blueprint, any blueprint you want, it doesn't matter. Then you start destroying the foundation till the blueprint build disappears. You'll know when it disappears because these bright neon blue veins appear and there's a crack and it all kind of just disappears. And at that point you can no longer continue with the blueprint build but the foundations stay behind so we can use that for our build. And as you may have already noticed all blueprint builds foundations stick right into the ground. Now we can add taller foundations to the blueprint foundations. But the tips and tricks here, you need to use the snap mode button. And while holding the snap mode button, rotate the piece and it will snap right in line with the foundations. A neat little trick. Sometimes just using the snap mode will line it up for you, but if it doesn't, just rotate and it will do it. So now, it's up to you how big you want the foundation size to be. Once you've got the size you want, we need to do the roof test. Now, all this is doing is making sure that the roof lines up properly. And this is where we'll learn if we need to add more foundations or take away. Now we're only going two roofs high for this build, but again it's your choice. Just know if you want a smaller build it will likely be one roof high and bigger builds will probably need more roofs. So this foundation is slightly too big so we'll have to take away a couple. So the roof test is done, everything lines up. Now we just need to remove the roof and let's start building the walls. So with the walls we need to use white corner 2 because white corner 1 is slightly too short which I really don't understand because I'm not sure what we'd use this for but it is what it is. So we're going to put the door and windows down, however I'm going to do this wrong right now on purpose so you can see how to do the interior properly and not have to redo everything. So before we get building, first things first, let's put the flooring down, but make sure you leave a gap for the walls. So here's the mistake that we did on purpose. Interior walls sometimes won't snap to other walls due to being obstructed. It can be windows or objects attached to the walls, but the brick walls I'm using here for example have little white notches at the top of the inside which prevents any walls clipping to them. So what we do is we build the door and then we do the interior walls first so we can line everything up without having to redo everything. Then you add your windows and other walls you want to use 
and then just fill in the gaps with thinner versions of the walls that you're using. So I'm using brick, so I use like brick wall one, two, three, just fill the gaps. So that's the first floor done and this fairy thing won't stop making noise and it's also getting dark. So we'll follow this annoying little rascal, go get the chest and then go to bed. So we'll build the stairs up to the next floor and place the flooring down. We just need to make sure that the floor doesn't cover any of the walls so that we can keep everything the same height. Now you need to build around the stairs because you can't actually build right up to it for some reason it just gets obstructed it's the way that the stairs are made but there will be a small gap. Again, build the interior first and then get everything lined up before you start putting in windows and other things that you want in. This is looking good now. Obviously put windows where you want, I'm just generally throwing them everywhere. <laughs> Now once done, place some flooring down, otherwise the roof will be visible from the first floor and it just won't look great. You could even add stairs for an attic if you really want to at this point. But now it's time for the roof. Now I'm using variants of Pleasant Roof, just make sure it doesn't overhang because we'll be using gables for the overhang. And the gaps that are left will be filled with the half wall. Now the issue I have is the lack of things in the game. For example, there isn't different sizes of half walls, but hopefully with updates on the way we'll see a lot more added to the game which I'm really excited for.
here we're just going to use flooring to build the stairs to actually get into the door of the building. Now you can do this any way you want, I just find this is a nice little easy way in. Unfortunately railings won't snap to this and into the ground so there's no way to actually put like a railing set of stairs that leads up to the, the, the door. And here we go, that's the build. I think it looks like a tidy little house to be honest. Obviously, better window placement is definitely needed. I just kind of threw it all up, but no, I'm happy with this. And hopefully you learned a thing or two in this video about how to build, because I've seen a lot of people complaining about the free building, but it can be done. It's just not as intuitive as, as Minecraft, for example. And this game definitely needs a lot more content. But if we go in and have a little, have a little nosy, close the door. We'll see this could be your kitchen yeah, quite, a, quite a big bit of room this could be your crafting room got the stairs here obviously i built the stairs i put some railings on put some railings all the way around now this bit's a bit of a void area it's i don't know you could put some decorations here or whatever uh this could be a bedroom or another crafting room or stairs leading to the attic and then here this could be your bedroom so your bed so it's a big house. It's definitely a big build. You can definitely build bigger and I do plan to build bigger. I want to build some castles. I want to build some underground bases. I want to build some crazy stuff. Even like the dungeon over here, I want to build something on top of that. But yeah, overall, I think it's a decent little build. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments what you think about this build. Let me know if you learned something. Hopefully you have. And also get involved and uh, give me some suggestions of stuff you'd like to see built in this game. Now, we're a bit limited, like I said, to the, the content that we got. You know, if we go into the uh, the building parts, there's, there's a few bits, but there's not a lot. It's not, you know, overwhelming, which is, you know, being a new game, I get it. So we're going to have to wait for additional stuff. But I'm really excited for that. So, yeah. Well, all right. Stop making noise, you. Let me know what you'd like to see built. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share this video. And I'll catch you on the next one.